Hey, it's Cyberspace Nathan Wallace coming at you from the Sibirical Engineering Offices outside New Orleans, Louisiana, with another Cyberware tip of the day. Today's topic is botnets. So you hear this term, but actually what is it? What are they used for, right? So some, some terms as far as things that we need to review. So zombie, zombie, basically an infected machine. Uh, it's compromised, malware was installed, it becomes a zombie. Uh, DOS, uh, this is denial of service. So one guy, could basically, so let's say that this is the can, this is the target. So this is actually a control center. So let's say that's the target. So we have one guy out here. Let's say he's on his laptop, and this could be a, you know public Wi-Fi something, and you know he knows the IP address, the WAN facing IP address for this control center, and basically it's IP sub CC. Let's say. So he's just going to send traffic. Da, 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 da. Well, he's only going to be able to do so much because it's just one machine. Uh, he could cause damage depending on the configuration and how well this is designed. Obviously, a well-designed system is going to have backup links, backup communication channels. But sometimes these things aren't well designed, right? So laptop, this is a single thing. So this is what's called a denial of service. Well, distributed denial of service, let's say we have these houses. So this is house one all the way out to some house in. And you know, these guys are connected to the internet, right? So dot, dot, dot. So he's talking, he's talking, and we have our home uh, routers, right? Well, what's behind the home router nowadays? You know, so you have your smart home, your coffee pot could be connected to your router, your fridge, your tablet, your cell phones, these guys, right? These guys right here. This is actually a Linux machine. So if you purchase this, and a lot of people think it's plug and play, but these things aren't technically plug and play. You need to go in and you need to configure it. You need to change your, the default passwords. So you don't change it. What happens is if there's malware inside your home network, it's gonna spread. It's gonna find likely things like this that have those default passwords. It's gonna log in. So let's say this is your home network. You have all of your devices on your home network. Well, guess what? If they're vulnerable, and if there's malware inside your home, they're all going to become a zombie. It's Halloween, right? Zombie. So, you know, one through in, da da da. And if it's the same malware, so we actually saw this with the Mirai botnet a couple years ago uh, that brought down like part of the East Coast, I think, as far as the, the internet. So, you can now basically have these all communicating these zombies as soon as they get infected. Even the routers themselves can be infected. So that's the router. So it can report back to a C2 server or a commanding control server and say, hey, I just popped a new shell. I'm vulnerable. I'm compromised. So bam, he, he phone homes, waiting instructions, waiting, you know, just listening. Give me something to do. Give me something to do. Well, whoever's in control of this C2 server says, okay, I have 3,000 devices. Let's point to this guy, IP sub CC, the target. So now all of these devices, not just one, but all of them, they're pointing their traffic to this IP address. And what happens is legitimate things, legitimate stations, legitimate devices that are trying to communicate, these links get broken because they can't get in. That traffic, this link, this link just gets bogged down to where legitimate traffic can't go through. Now, once again, a well-designed system can adapt and you know be resilient against these types of attacks, but not everything is well-designed. So I hope this helps. You know, Once again, botnet, so we have terms like zombies, DOS, uh, denial of service, DDoS, distributed denial of service, and then C2 is command and control server. So I hope this is helpful. For more tips and tricks, check out staysafeonline.org or check out our website, cybericle.com. Thanks and cyber safely.